Well, I've been out this morning doing a little rail fanning, and it's getting on 11.30 towards noon. And it's starting to get hot out here. Haven't heard nothing on the scanner, so I guess we're going to go on home. And in the process, I'll make a little driving video. This is going to be a simple driving video. And due to excessive wind noise, I'm going to have to do a lot of talking to dub in some audio in this video. That place across the street there sells golf carts. I'm turning right on Highway 42. Right now the camera's pointed off to my left. And I'm on my way home. Imagine, if you will, you're in the car with me. Farther down the road, I'll wind up pulling over and mounting the camera where we can see down the road instead of off to the side. But you're getting a pretty good view of the Dinkinsburg area. I don't have far to go down Highway 42. I'm turning left right up here by these storage buildings on England Chapel Road. It's a little cross-country trek to get me over to Highway 36. It's about two and a half miles down this back road here until I get over to Highway 36. So you're on the road today with P. Walpar. My wife and I used to get out and drive quite a bit, but due to the fact that gasoline costs so much, you don't really get in a car unless you got somewhere to go. There was a time where we just drove for miles and miles just to see what was around. I suppose those days are long gone. Unless by some miracle we figure out how to run our vehicles off of water or something. That's a pretty little place over there. They have some beautiful grounds. There was a big tree right there where that stump is by looking toward that barn. I guess they cut it down. I hadn't noticed that before. I notice a lot of these folks around here are doing a much better job of keeping their grass cut than I've been doing. I got more important things to do like rail fanning and making videos and other fun things. My camera's mounted on my gecko camera mount and stuck to the side window. This place here on the left's always got some new mobile homes sitting out there. I don't know where he sells them at, but he's got a pretty good stockpile of them out there waiting to go somewhere. I have two different vehicles that I normally rail fan in. Today I'm in my 1994 F-150 extended cab step side pickup truck. It still gets me around. It runs pretty good. The air conditioner don't work. That's one reason I'm headed in so early today. Any future rail fanning I do in the next week or two in this hot heat will definitely be in my air conditioned 1997 Ford Expedition. Guess I've always been kind of partial to Ford vehicles. Just about anything I've ever owned was a Ford. I tried a couple other models. Dodge, I considered a lemon. And I had a beat up old 1964 Volkswagen one time. That thing would scoot. In fact, the first car I ever owned was a Ford. My first car was a 1957 Ford station wagon. I suppose right now would be a prime opportunity to speak to my viewers out there. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for the support you've provided me by watching my videos and your always kind and understanding comments on tolerating my sh talking so much. I could put music on my a video like this, but I don't have the rights to any music. So I just choose to talk. But then again, I don't force anybody to listen. Many of my viewers, I know them by name. And many of you viewers out there never do tell me your names. It takes me a while to memorize them, but I do wish more of you would tell me what your name is. It would be even better to put your name on your home channel. That way I can add more of a personal touch when I communicate with you.
Let's talk a little bit about defensive driving, something I've always tried to practice. In 1983, with my job with the railroad, I transferred to an outlying point job based out of Griffin, Georgia, where I was always assigned a company truck, and over the years I wore out a good many trucks driving the road to Georgia, and I've been all over the state of Georgia in places you wouldn't even imagine. In my first day on the job in 1983, the outline point job, they put me in a truck with the man I was relieving him on the job. We made it up to about noon in Georgia. I was riding in a passenger seat, whereupon we had a head-on collision with a Ford LTD large automobile. And that was the last time I rode as a passenger with anybody in a company truck except on very rare occasions. I took control of the steering wheel from then on. And I had a great driving record over the years. I had a few ins and outs, a couple of fender benders here and there, but all in all, I did pretty good with my driving over the years and I survived it. Defensive driving is something I've always tried to practice. You never know when a deer is going to run out in front of you or somebody's going to pull out one of these driveways you're coming upon or a wreck will happen in front of you. I've had that happen several times. And sometimes you have to take evasive maneuvers to keep from being involved in an accident. Here I'm turning right on Highway 36, heading on towards the house. I do put in quite a few miles just to do my rail fanning. It never ceases to amaze me when I see some of the stunts drivers pull on the roads these days. Some of you young people out there with a the cell phone stuck up to your ear, or sending text messages or whatever, really should think twice. You never know when you're going to need both hands on the wheel. You won't never catch old P. Walpar riding down the road without a seat belt on and without paying strict attention to what I'm doing and where I'm going. There ain't a cell phone out there worth risking your life over. About 20 years ago, right along in this area here, it was a two-lane road then. My daughter was just a baby then, and we were headed home late at night. And I came around one of these curves, and the Georgia State Patrol was sitting out there and clocked me doing 85 miles an hour. He finally pulled me over and stopped me, and I got out of the car and said, You got me fair and square, officer. To my surprise, he said, You're the first honest person I've talked to all day. I'm going to give you a warning ticket. So I asked all my viewers and anybody watching this video to think twice about doing anything, anything that about doing anything that might jeopardize your trip. I hope you all get where you're going safely. As I proceed on down the road here, old Pete Walpar will be signing out here in a few minutes, and I want to thank you for riding along with me today. Happy rail fanning to all of you. Drive safe. Get home safely.